get butt clenchy, Andre. I, I don't want to scare you, but it's going to get really high. You're going to be on a shelf road, and there's going to be a pretty scary drop to your right and your left. Six months ago, we bought this brand new Ford F-250, and since that time, we've put a lot of work into it to make it the ultimate off-roader. We've added a camper, we've added a three and a half inch lift, we've added 37 inch tires, and all those changes have created some pretty substantial problems for the 7.3 liter engine under the hood. We've got issues with the speedometer, we've got issues with tire pressure, we've got issues with shifting, but today, we're gonna solve all those issues with the help from our friends from Five Star Tuning. When it comes to heavy duty trucks, you guys might be thinking about turbo diesel tuning for maximum torque, maximum horsepower, for towing insanely huge trailers on the highway or going down the drag strip. Well, this is something completely new because this tune from Five Star on this device is specifically meant for this 7.3 liter big block V8. And it's also meant specifically for four wheel drive trail driving. And in this video, we're gonna drive this truck to the top of the mountain in the Colorado Rockies and show you all the advantages of a tune like this. Hey Roman, do you copy? I got you, Andre. So dude, I'm in two wheel drive right now still. Um, it's too easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's gonna get butt clenchy, Andre. I, I don't wanna scare you, but it's gonna get really high. You're gonna be on a shelf road and there's gonna be a pretty scary drop to your right and your left. So uh, enjoy the dirt road while you can. Well, Roman, this is not called the two-wheel drive tune. This is four by four tuning. All right, well, let's do this, Andre. Uh, see how far you can go in two-wheel drive before you have to switch to four-wheel drive. Yeah. Guys, I can't stress enough how important and fun it is when you go steep and deep to have a buddy. So today, I've got the TFL Gladiator, a recovery rig, and I'm gonna be spotting Andre and helping him up the trail. And I'll be there in case things go south because we are taking a shelf road with, well, you'll see a very dramatic fall. This truck is kind of a behemoth, which is why, thank you. Thank you. Which is why I appreciate that everybody else on the trail is very courteous. But so far I'm in two wheel drive and I'm really happy that this truck has a lift and big tires because there are some sections where this big long truck, it's challenged on clearance. But so far I haven't touched anything. The biggest problem we're solving today is actually the speedometer correction and it has everything to do with the tire size it's a wildly different size to what came on the truck originally so the speedometer is off the mpg meter is a little bit off the odometer is off everything is off but this custom tune allows me to actually define the precise tire measurement so everything is correct so uh roman can you help me what you need andre i need to know should i put 37 inches in this tuner or what well, you know, just because it says 37 on the tire doesn't mean that they are 37s when you get them on the trail. Let me measure them. Okay. So, Andre, guess Wh what? What? It says 37s on the tire, but when you measure them, they're actually 36. Well, they don't have full pressure, right? Yeah, so they're aired down, and in the real world, it's probably good to get the real number. Tuning. Then I go under module config, and then I'm allowed to actually look at this custom uh, parameters and only this device the end gauge currently allows me to do it with five star so this is very unique okay so you can see there uh, th currently the truck thinks it's riding on a 33 inch tall tire that's not correct we are going on 36s I got it, 36, Roman. So Andre, how much were we off on, on the speedometer? The truck, if it was reading 60, yeah. you were actually going like 66. Oh, that can get you in trouble. Yeah, a lot of trouble. <laughs> and that also means you're putting on more miles than you really are, right? 
Yeah, so the that's no good. Also off. Yeah, it's no good. So now we are correct. See that rock up there? This rock. Yeah, yes. You know what I call it? What? I call it poser rock. <laughs> oh, oh, so I can nice and flexy again. And... Yes, but it's a double entendre. Oh, why? Because it looks like you could just drive up on it. Yes. But give it a try and see what happens. I don't call this rock poser rock because you pose your truck on it. I call it poser rock because, well, a lot of people think they could even get their front wheel on that rock and they can't because the articulation gets really weird and what ends up happening is you end up spinning a rear tire or in case you've got an open diff, a front and a rear tire and you can't even get your front tire on that white rock. So let's see how the board does. Basically uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm two wheel drive, no locker, but this is an FX4 Ford which means it does have a selectable rear locker. Okay, I am getting stuck. Okay. What? You're like four inches up on the mound and you're already stuck. Four inches? Yeah, yeah you got like another... Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, let me try my locker, okay? All right, two wheel drive locker. Am I gonna tip over? Okay, all right, selectable locker engaged. Oh, that's nice. I'm getting a little bit more. Am I on the rock? Andre, congrats, dude! You made it a poser rock. I'm a poser! And this is why it's gonna get much more butt clenchy when he gets up on that ridge line. <laughs> Can't wait. Now we built this truck to live off-road. And one of the things that you want when you're off-road is lower tire pressure because, well, it gives you more grip and a better ride. But the problem is that Ford's TPMS sensor doesn't like it when you air down. It beeps at you, it flashes a warning light, and it's really kind of a pain in the ass. So what we can do with the Five Star Tuner is when we air it down like this, we can actually set it so that it doesn't give you that constant warning. Andre, why don't you show them? From the factory, the system is set at about 65 PSI as a threshold and anything below that, it's giving you a warning. Here it is, the computer was originally set at 65 PSI as a threshold. I'm gonna lower it down to the minimum, which is 30. So I'm not always reminded about my tire pressures. Now Andre, I'm kind of acting as your trail buddy, but I have one thing on this truck that you don't have, and that thing is the most important thing of all. You know what that is? Oh, you mean an extra canister of fuel? No, no, so I have a lift, you have a lift. I've got 35s, you've got 37s. I've got a 100 pound tent, you've got a 1500 pound camper, which makes, well, this truck much better off-road because the center of gravity on that truck has gotta be crazy. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this is a big, heavy truck. That could be a little bit tippy, but still it's capable. Yeah, but the one thing I have that we could maybe eventually, hopefully not use, is a 10,000 pound winch. You know what? If I really get stuck, 10,000 pounds may not do it. Here's a TFL off-road tip number one. If you're gonna have a buddy on the trail, invest in a buddy with a winch. Do you also have snatch blocks so we can uh, double your pulling power? No, but we've got you. You're strong like a Russian bear. Now you would think a 7.3 liter producing 430 horsepower and 475 pound foot of torque would be plenty of power and torque, but it's not. Because when you stick a 1500 pound camper on the back of this truck, you put on 37s, you give it a three and a half inch Carly lift, all that really taps the resources of this power plant. So the five star tune has a solution. Andre, please explain. But this tune provides a solution, which is about 33 additional horsepower and about additional 47 pound feet of torque. 
and this is in the middle of the rev range between 2000 rpm and about 4500 rpm exactly where you want the extra power please stay tuned to the end of the video where i'll show you a real world comparison zero to 60 acceleration stock versus tuned it's getting more precarious so i'm gonna select four wheel drive high yeah by the end of this you'll be in four wheel drive low i promise this is a great test because i want to test all modes because the tune touches all of it. Perfect. Hey, um, there's a little bit of a log here. See if you can kind of drive over it. See how it does. If you guys have been watching TFL Truck, you probably have seen other videos of us working with the guys at Five Star Tuning on EcoBoost powered trucks and twin turbos, on the Ford Ranger, etc. They tune a lot of different engines, but this is a little bit more unique. This is not a full out power tune. It's meant for big heavy duty trucks like this using 87 octane. In four wheel drive high, they change the throttle response, they change the shift pattern on the transmission, and it's supposed to be more smooth, just like it is now. Hey Roman, um, this is getting way steeper so I want to go to four low right now. Yeah, I would suggest it. You know, video, sometimes uh, this looks like a dirt road, but when you're here at 10,000 feet above sea level now, and you know, seeing just how steep this is, it's a whole different game. Well, yeah, I'm also bringing my palatial home with me. So I need uh, more torque and four low, I think is just the ticket. The low range transfer case provides good gearing the 10 speed automatic provides really good ratios also and I'm starting in second gear automatically that's where the tune uh, comes in and they also tune how sensitive the throttle is and I'm just in normal mode right now and just doing this right here in second gear it feels really good oh boy dude I cannot make this turn okay you got a truck that's longer than the Queen Elizabeth or Queen Mary or whatever the longest ship is now. How are your butt muscles? They're just fine. Because you're going to be giving them a workout now, <laughs> all right? Because we're heading toward the shelf road. <laughs> okay, I, I'm prepared. All right, good. Hey, Roman, I have to bring in my mirrors and I have to watch the trees because they're, they're encroaching. Still feels just like a dirt road or uh, is it feeling a little bit more, uh, shall we say, goat track like uh, uh it feels challenging dude very challenging yeah let me check my watch i want to see uh, how high we are above sea level we just hit 11,000 feet and we're about to pop out a tree line woohoo timber line hey so what kind of fuel economy are you getting what 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 economy the jeep says uh 15.9 but I, I wouldn't i wouldn't believe that you know what i'm showing 8.9 and uh but it also accounts for the highway yeah so does mine but mine has a current display and the current says uh anywhere between five and seven mpg i also have these cool off-road gauges that show me just how butt crunchy it's about to get i also have an inclinometer but you know what i can also monitor 117 parameters about my engine and transmission i can monitor just how much gas i have in my water temperature yeah, basically this N-Gage device also has a lot of monitoring uh, capability. So how's that tune doing? You got plenty of power, good throttle response, all the good stuff you want? Heck yeah, dude, right now I'm in four low. It starts me out in second gear. And, you know, it's not jerky. It's really smooth throttle. And I think if I gain, you know, 12% of power, I think that's uh, really helping me. I've been around this mountain before, but every time I come here, it's breathtaking. And it's not just because you're driving on a kind of a shelf road. It's just the huge span of this nature and just gorgeous mountains, still snow left over. Yeah, you know, I mean, we don't want to 
find out just how well that camper is attached to the truck, do we? Yeah, but this four-wheel camper, you know, it's built out of aluminum frame and it's very, very heavy duty. Okay, let's go. Let me try again. Hey, Andre, we don't really want to find out how well that camper is attached to the truck. I get it, I get it. There's 117 different parameters. I have two sets of gauges. This is just transmission temp, coolant temp, and they stayed in check. Transmission's been under 220 degrees. Um, coolant's been under 200. And then I could also select more gauges. My battery is nice to know. My, my fuel level in percentage points, my oil pressure. Um, there's too much going on here, but it's nice to know that information in real time instead of relying on some of those needle gauges that don't move very often. We specifically chose this four-wheel pop-up camper because it's more compact. It's not very tall, it's not hugely wide, but still, I put a few uh, pinstripes on this camper today because the pine trees were just kind of too close. Whew. All right, Andre, how's that tiny home on wheels? It's still there and I, I'm happy. Yeah, is the tune working? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it just makes it for a more smooth experience, I would say. Well, you're gonna need that tune because right here, it gets really loose. In other words, steep and deep. So this is our final summit before we reach the end of the trail. Is this towards Radical Hill? Yeah. Uh, wow, okay. We're not gonna go down Radical Hill because <laughs> that would definitely test how well the camper is attached to the uh, I think, F250. I think the Super Duty is not quite Radical Hill rate it. Well, it's just the center of gravity yeah. is, um, yeah. yeah. My off-road inclinometer says I'm climbing about 14 to 15 degrees up. And here, I'm still in four low, I'm gonna accelerate. Third gear, almost imperceptible. The guys at Five Star Tuning, they don't really um, adjust you know, the line pressures and the transmission, so it still shifts the same way that it's been from the factory. It's basically timing how the transmission responds to my throttle. You know, this is much better than the time when we drove this truck around the White Rim Trail in Utah um, with a factory calibration, but big tires and suspension. That truck was a little bit more jerky, but after this, custom tune we found the smoothness back the smoothness is back I told you this was a goat trail you didn't believe me no I thought you meant like the Jeep was a goat I should have said mountain goat trail huh well those goats seem to have fine tuning they're finely tuned machines yeah and they have no fear it's crazy coming up here huh yeah dude and uh, I'm surprised that this big behemoth actually was so smooth up here all right guys well I want to thank our friends over at five star for sponsoring this video and of course providing the tune and um, yeah you think they do a, a mountain goat tune they should call it that I think this is a symbol from God not the four-wheel drive tune but the mountain goat tune I guys that's a freebie that's coming next. Yeah, that's gotta be next. All right, as always, this is Roman. And Andre. Saying thanks for watching and thank you for joining us on another TFL off-road adventure. See you guys next time, ciao. So, are you gonna try to pet one? No, I, I don't wanna bother him. You got big spiky No, horns. no, no. Just look at, look, look, how, look how fuzzy he is. Look at that guy. Look how fuzzy. He's so fuzzy. He's so fuzzy. Out with the old and in with the new. This truck is now FX5 edition and they tell me that this adds at least 5 horsepower.
right, let's see if this tune that adds a little bit of horsepower and torque can actually produce a faster zero to 60 than stock tune. Aha, even quicker. 10.82 so I have done basically the same type of launch uh, with this truck under stock calibration 11.24 so you might be picking up between two and four tenths what I can tell you from driving this truck on road is that it just seems happier overall it has more torque in the middle of the RPM range I can feel it and it just feels more effortless to move this heft of about 9,000 pounds overall. 